and what is up people welcome back for a new video this time something a bit different and i really wanted to show you this and it is calisthenic uh, and more precisely calisthenic with my friend aaron Dill from switzerland that i had the pleasure to um, stay a few days with in april of this year and uh, it had been a while we wanted to do something together and this video although it's late is uh, what we did together about him showing me basically what he's training like because Aaron Deal is a personal trainer specialized into calisthenic street workout and street lifting too and uh, he's very proficient at it this is his specialization and uh, today you'll see uh, a training that he got me through it's pool training and uh, right now what you can see on the screen is a speed up warm up session where he's showing me everything he's doing and I'm just copying, you know. Uh, this is basically just simple warm up, dy dynamic warm up for every joint that will be involved. So uh, shoulder, wrist, uh, neck and uh, elbow too. So you can see we're doing a lot of movement, different movements. We, we are doing rotation, we are doing flexion extension, we are doing um, ulnar and radial deviation in the case of the wrist and we are pushing and forcing a bit to it as we can see here to make sure that we'll be uh, all good for what is uh, coming and um, you'll see <laughs> I'm actually really really way out of my reach today for this training uh, it was very very interesting insightful it was very rich too it is so so good to be able to um, you know test a few things out here and there you know I'm more of a weight training guy and uh, for once I was doing bodybuilding but you know with weight training and uh, all of a sudden I'm just with body weight so as you can see here he's using band to warm up the rotator cuff so this is for internal rotation as you can see he's doing the movement with the elbow up and then at f uh, 90 degree uh, elbow flanked on the side to really make sure to have everything perfectly warmed up around the shoulder I did the same but I did not film it and here as you can see he's doing exactly the same but for the overarm simple um, this is of course very very key uh, when you're doing calisthenics things because the pressure and the demand on your shoulder joint is as you, as you will see very 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 high and uh, I'm pretty sure that if they really endure a lot and often this area is not for nothing even him already had a few problem and as you can see here it was doing something very very smart and it was to do tricep extension while still resisting the uh, elbow basically going uh, back in more shoulder flexion with his lat and he did exactly the same thing right there with some kind of pullover motion and here you go this is the training that we'll see we started with some front lever but with a hold at the top and then some pull so this is this is exactly like doing uh, a chin up but horizontally and at the same time you're doing pullover with your own body weight and this is brutal just me dire si je tiens 4 secondes le touch okay so as you can see here he was asking me to count the number of uh, seconds he was holding at the top and uh, how much he reps he did because iron deal is specializing on strength skill on this exercise he's not doing hypertrophy training is doing skill training this means that he wants to be better and better at this specific movement just like an olympic weightlifting guy would do everything he can to be better at clean and jerk and snatch and also purely doing strength for chronic so high high intensity and low volume basically and here is my first try wait for it <laughs> i totally fucked it up <laughs> And this is why calisthenic guys and street guys do not walk their leg. Hype un petit peu. Allez, focus. Allez, ça tient, ça tient. Allez, un, deux, trois, quatre. Allez, touche, touche. Yes. Yep, yeah, allez. So as you can see, he, he did his top set and what he wanted to achieve and pretty good at it. And uh, this is my second try and this time it was way better. But as I said prior to this, this is why calisthenic athletes, gymnasts, do not train their legs. 
First, you being short is going to be better for your pure biomechanic lovers. But then you having long head, long uh, legs, excuse me, is going to be even worse. But imagine having weight on the hip and on the legs that are basically going to be counterbalancing everything you're trying to do uh, with your upper body. So yeah, we even had to <laughs> make a specific um, bend position for me to have it under my glutes to really help me. And then you can see here, it's slightly, slightly easier. And we were doing full range front lever. So I can do front lever, but I can't hold them at the top. I never tried. I mean, I tried, but it's just too hard. And as a bodybuilder, I'm not interested into it. I just do reps and reps going up and down. And uh, yeah, for once, my big ass wasn't a problem. But uh, yeah, very interesting. And as you can see here, he doesn't need it, but he's not training his leg. The only thing Arendil is doing for his leg is running. And here and there, he's just testing his quad strength and he can maintain between 120 kilo and 140 kilo. So two plate and a half up to three plate of squat strength, um, max rep, max repetition for one LM. And as you can see here, for more work, quality volume work, uh, even though it's strength work always, he's doing his touch and his hold and the full range of motion all at the same time. So yeah, it's very, very high level specialization and uh, he's really going well with it. As you can see here, the same, it was the last set. Here, all the same and done. Comfortable. Puis après, cinq secondes. <laughs> <laughs> so what you just saw was his top set on Victorian um, hold, which is basically a gymnastic motion that gymnasts does do, excuse me, and um, they do it. Uh, part of their routine but uh, the focus was not onto it and uh, it was way better to go on the next part which is something a bit more interesting for a lot of, your, of you so this is a, called a festo um, this is basically you doing uh, a curl with your own body weight or this is the goal at least So something that happened here was that Iron Deal was going smoothly and well, but he lost his position. So this is why he failed. But you will see later in the video, you know, of course he had it uh, just a few moments later. And this is me trying, of course, being very careful. I'm using a stronger band than him because I'm both taller and heavier. And the weight is not where... Uh, it's supposed to be to help me with this exercise. So all I can do is count on my back, uh, bicep and forearm and chest strength to hold everything. So as you can see, he's uh, pin pinpointing me and advising me. Of course, I'm going slowly. I never did it before. And up, I did it. I actually did it, but it was freaking hard. I, I can tell you that much. It was very, very hard. There you can see me doing a second one, and pretty sure we'll try a third. We are, we are really doing low volume, low rep, because it's full strength work. And here, I love the position, but I just was able to grind it out because of all the muscle I have, but it isn't considered a good rep. So, of course, I did not really mention it and nor explained it, but his method as a both a personal trainer and an athlete is to actually do reverse progression with band. So, you're unweighting yourself with band, you're assisting yourself with band, and the more you get stronger, the less the band is going to be helping you. So, you start with a strong band, then medium band, then a, a monster mini, then a mini, and then you try basically to do it body weight without any assistance. 
and it progress with both of this, which is basically uh, just like doing we just like adding weight on an exercise for us who are using external weight, free weight, and also adding range of motion. And the last piece of thing that was very interesting to me is this device. So this is basically a power calisthenic um, build. I don't remember, remember the name, I will put this on the screen. Um, <clears throat> so this is basically a full, um, a full apparatus that you put in a rack to have everything you need to unweight yourself to any kind of gymnastic, calisthenic or you know, street workout skill and you can modulate where the band is, where the belt is, and how much weight is helping you, as you can see here. Uh, he was uh, working on this Victorian hold here again and wanted to try a combo or a routine, as they say. So you'll see it in a moment, but this is very interesting. You know, it's actually a very, very smart sport. It's not something as uh, basic as I thought it was, and they are actually progressing a lot, especially in Europe. Uh, Actually, Switzerland and Italia are countries that have some of the best street workout and calisthenic communities I have ever seen. So, check that out if you're interested. Voilà, je vais rester comme ça de manière tout à fait euh, naturelle. Naturel. How impressive it was seeing this in real life. Um, yeah, it was just amazing. You know, it was just going so smoothly. And as a bodybuilder, uh, I can only appreciate the amount of work, dedication he had to put through to do this. Allez, 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 allez. Yes, super. Petit bonobo devient orang-outan. <rire>